Hey everybody, how's it going? So this is gonna be a video that's gonna cover the takeoff stamp circle, this takeoff method that I've developed in Bluebeam, which I think is super cool. Um, right here, I'm in my, the takeoff, uh, let me turn on the bar at the bottom. Um, but anyways, if, if you don't ever have this bar at the bottom, you press F8 on your keyboard and it'll pop up, in case you didn't know that. But this video is gonna be covering the takeoff stamp circle method and i'm just going to demonstrate how this is used and how i've used it to do hundreds and hundreds of takeoffs and i think it's pretty cool so if you want this tool chest feel free to uh, send me your email in the comments below or just send me a request you want the the tool chest and i will contact you and send it to you um, but check this out so this is how it works basically this takeoff set here are a bunch of circles that were created in a quarter inch equals one foot scale Okay, and it's set to auto scale, and all they are, if you go to detail mode, they're just ellipses. It's just a bunch of circles. And I picked, you know, 30 random circles, and you could make this go to 60, 90, 120, um, just by changing the border color of each circle, so you can create some differentiation, <laughs> some, um, so you can make them different, okay? Um, and so how this works is, let's just say I want to count on this drawing, this is just an example, but I wanna count meeting rooms, and office rooms and then kind of count some of the other ones as we go. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with the red one and before I do this actually, sometimes you might have a symbol legend on page one and you would drop these next to each symbol as you go to count them but I'm just gonna show you just a, a very simple way to get this general count. So the first thing you do is you would click this red dot and I say, you know what, that's about right. So I'm just gonna click this on the drawing and I wanna label this meeting. So I'm gonna go over here, oops, this is the, the takeoff one, so everything's on the left. I like to have, I like to mix things up and put some on the right, but on this case, this is the, um, the takeoff profile. So I'm just gonna go over here and I'm gonna call this meeting room. Meeting room. Okay, so now that I've, I've labeled that meeting room, you could also use the area up here to label this meeting room as well without having to pop this out. That's probably the whole reason why Bluebeam 2018 exists is so you don't have to go back to those the panels every time. But now that that's there, what I wanna do is go to that icon, right click, and I wanna add it to my My Tools. The reason I do this is I don't wanna muddy up this. I want this to never ever change. So I'm gonna make the icon, I'm gonna add it to My Tools, and then I'm gonna come up here and I'm gonna go detail mode. I wanna see what these are called. So I could also go ahead and make the office one too. So I'm gonna maybe go with pink. I'm gonna add this here. Click on this to highlight it, come up here, and I wanna label this office. Office room. Oh, I'm gonna say office, there's no room. Um, and, then, and then I can actually double click here and just say this is just meeting. Let's make it standard. I'm gonna go over here, I'm gonna right click, I'm gonna add that to my My Tools as well. So that should have showed up over there. Maybe I just missed it. Add a tool chest my tools there we go office okay now that that's done i do see a conference room we can make that as well and then we'll kind of end there so i'm going to click here now if you notice this might take a little bit of time but it's not too much time conference and i'm going to hit enter right click and you could make those you could have made those also all at once and then just highlighted all of these and added them to your my tools. That's also a neat way to do it. But now that that's done, all you have to do is using your mouse is click on meeting, and at the um, at the very bottom. I don't know why it doesn't have it on on here. Maybe because um, the reuse button should be on the bottom, but in the takeoff profile, maybe it's somewhere else. Okay, so we found the reuse tool. It's actually hiding right in front of our face. How awesome is that? So there it is right there. So in tools, it's at the bottom. Reuse tool, check that out, it's right there. I can't believe I missed that, but I'm used to having it at the bottom on the other profile. So you wanna click the reuse tool, and I believe you can also pin this too. So if you hit pin, you can also pin this to say your you know advanced text. And so you can pin it up there, but let's just say under tools, you wanna make sure this reuse tool's on. Once that's on, you wanna click meeting and then just have a click fast. So go ahead and just start clicking on everything that says meeting. And I can kind of get this go right here because I wanna see everything, go meeting or meeting room. And then what's cool is while this is on, you can left click again on office and you can just keep going. Now the reason why I like this takeoff method is because I've noticed that it doesn't really take up much mental bandwidth. I can go through and click, oop, that's an open office, so we don't want that, because we just want to do office rooms. Um, and so you can click through this, um, there's meeting rooms, so I can jump back to meeting room. You can click through these areas 
and click on all your takeoffs. And you can do so very, very fast. Some people say when I do takeoffs and they go, well, John, um, what about like the search feature? And I'm like, yeah, the search feature works great. However, what this allows me to do is allows me to kind of run through the the drawing and get a good feel for what is going on because it's also nice that as I'm doing the takeoffs myself that I'm kind of getting a, a general feel for what's here. For example, I went through and was able to kind of get all of those rooms and I realized there's also a copy room there. So if I wanted to make one for the copy room, I could always right click and say duplicate. I can go here and say copy, if I could spell copy and then once that's done I could come back to this one right click and I could always change the color of this so I can go source color orange change to blue and so we can change the copy color to blue and then click there so that's another quick way to make a new icon so for the most part I'm not going to get the electrical or these rooms I could if I really wanted to but I'm not going to uh, but now that I got everything there um, all I have to do is just highlight everything right click and go legend create new legend and you're done there is your takeoffs so pretty simple there's one meeting room <laughs> so here, here's the interesting part is that if you notice when you make a legend if you see anything in there that doesn't appropriately count in that meeting room that means that that icon is named a different a different name so it's going to show up differently so if you go down here in your markups list and you scroll up you can see that this meeting room is different. So you can go in there and just change that to um, to meeting. And there you go. Now that should auto populate back into legend and you are good to go. Now you can also make a legend. I believe this should work. If you go up here and you click legend, create new legend. If you pull legend from the tool chest, then it automatically counts as well. So that is how I do takeoffs on a very simplistic level. Basically, it's like a bunch of highlighters that you can give your own names. And then if you wanted to say, um, you know, do an open office and you want to leave the same color, you could always, you know, right click, copy, and then you could paste this down here. But instead of this being both purple, you could change the line color on this to say, I don't know, black. And then you could give it maybe a little bit bolder um, exterior, or maybe you just go blue. Blue stands out a little bit better blue and then this one you are going to label set of office you're going to label this open office and now what you've done is you've taken one color and you can add this back to your my tools tool chest but you've taken this one color here and you've had their both offices but now there's a differentiation between both icons which is really really cool and you can see that open office also populated my legend so that is how i use these take off circles to give them names, add them to my my tools, turn on the reuse tool, which is a loose right here, turn this on or it's at the bottom of your um, Bluebeam if you have different profile turned on. And then you can go ahead and then stamp all your sets and then pull a legend from that tool jest. And then you know from there, there's a whole bunch of different properties where you could decide to do um, a source page, all pages, current pages or custom range. So, but that is the basis of it. If you have other, ideas if you have other things you want to see let me know in the comments below feel free to subscribe to my channel and um, we'll discuss more things on how to supercharge some of your bluebeam workflows